I should just, it's a good, um, as you're saying, it is a wonderful way for me to pause and just ask. I just, I, I didn't ask during those times because I thought, you know, like I said, I thought it was for sure uh, I hadn't had enough water. But then the interesting part about this is, is we think about the body and water and, and the spirit and water is so important. And it also helps us to connect with spirit. So I think that maybe I'm, I'm, the body wants more water. It, it doesn't mean that I'm getting dehydrated, but I'm thinking the body wants more water or the spirit wants more water for the body. What are right. your thoughts on that? Well, again, you, you, you know, at every given point, every given time, it's different for everybody. So maybe you, Maybe the body wants more air. Maybe the body wants exercise. Maybe the body wants heat. So you're the only one who knows. Makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. to see you again. Thank you. Yeah, likewise. And you know, I'm having our, we're having our 10th year anniversary of fifth dimensional quantum healing. Uh, and Evan, Evan Perman. I yes, know. I know Evan, yeah. yeah. Right. So we're... We're going to have this event on December 19th in LAX Hilton. And um, I was able to get a hold of Ava and uh, trying to get a hold of Lish, uh, the two blonde girls who were helping me back in the day. And uh, so I'm trying to get the old crew back together to have this event because um, I haven't been doing these events in LA. And uh, I'm, I'm not planning on doing it regularly because of my schedule, but, but uh, definitely this one is going to be um, a big one. So if you can make it, it would be great to see you there. That would be lovely. So we're talking about next at the end of the year. The end of the year. Uh, the, the end, no, February 19th. Oh, I thought you said December 19th. February. Oh, maybe, okay. maybe I just, maybe, uh, yeah, it, it may, I may have missed... Okay. Um, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Absolutely. And I also I'm presenting at the Conscious Life Expo. I don't know if you're planning on coming to the expo, but that's that's a very powerful event. It and is with okay. all the teachers. So yeah. Thank you. Great. Thanks for mentioning it. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I would like to talk about the uh, life and death, the subject of today. Um, and this, this, we all think about our death. We all think about what is the meaning of life and uh, what's going to happen to me after I die. And uh, it's a very natural question that arises for every human being, uh, especially um, if you are on the path and uh, you're sincere with yourself and you're curious and uh, with this curiosity of where was I before I was, I was on this planet and where am I going to go after I die? What's going to happen to me? So, um, and you have to understand that um, there's different kind of beliefs and the traditional belief that I grew up with and I heard was that after you die, you, are, you go to hell or you go to heaven based on your deeds. And this is something that religion teach us or at least most religions do. And it's an old way of, of uh, it's a belief system and uh, the which it's been long that for me it's become like a joke and uh, I it's been a long time that I don't buy into this one anymore but it's still the belief system of maybe millions of people on the planet so there is a life after death in a form of your deeds and then you may be something really groovy and great. We call it heaven or you go to some dark uh, place which is full of fires and misery and suffering, which is hell. But in fact, 
you know, heaven and hell in my understanding is here on this planet. And some people do live in heaven and some people do live in hell in this life. So in some ways you don't need to wait for dying. You can experience it here uh, while you're living. And um, there is this also idea concept that after we die, um, we no longer exist. And, and we're going to be in this maybe dark uh, unit place that uh, there's nothing uh, and it's dark and you are somehow conscious that it's dark and there's nothing and nothing is going on and you're going to be conscious in this place for eternity. And uh, <laughs> that one is pretty hard for me to buy, to, to digest as well, because uh, it doesn't really make sense, you know, but I would die and I will be in this place and it's dark and there's nothing going on and I'm gonna be in this place for eternity. Um, <laughs> the idea of the modern world of, of what we're just being, being brainwashed or to uh, make, they make us believe is that there is something really terribly wrong with death. And uh, from the moment that I remember, from the time that I, I open my eyes to life and what I've seen around with my family and my upbringing and the culture that I grew up and now migrating to this part of the hemisphere. And I still see the same thing that it's kind of been deeply ingrained in our minds that, that there's something terribly wrong with dying. And we are in this mentality that we're trying to do anything possible to the best of our ability to postpone death. And, but can you imagine, can you just, first of all, I mean, can you imagine if human beings lived, let's say 300 years, they didn't die by age 100 or 80, 90, which most people, you know, live under age 100. But if we lived up to two or 300 years, I mean, A, our planet would be overpopulated. B is you would have a large number of older people that you had to take care of them. C, in some ways it would become extremely boring because most people as they get older, they get tainted with their ideas and the way they are, we get regimented and we want things in a certain way that it has to be in this way, in this style. And most of us don't want to learn anymore as we get older. So, and the way I see it, that life refreshes itself continuously. And we can see that. And how can we not implement this in our daily life? How can we just, all of a sudden, something which is very clearly in front of us, and we've been growing up with it all of our lives, is that we can overlook it and not pay any attention to it as if it doesn't exist and look at it attach it, this horrible thing to it.